So how do we evaluate functions if our x is a fraction? So as a recall, to evaluate a function means to find the value of our output, f of x or y, given the input x. So for example, we have this function, f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 3, and then our x is 1 half. The same thing with what we did, we are going to substitute all x variable with our x value, which is in this example, we have 1 half. So what will happen is, um, we will have 4x, so again, x is substituted with 1 half, minus 5x, again, x is now 1 half, and then we are going to perform the operations. In this example, we have 1 half squared, um, law of exponents, we are going to what? Um, distribute the 2, so one, 1 squared is just 1, and then 2 squared is just 4. So what will happen is this. So we have 4, again, 1 squared is just 1, 2 squared is 4, minus 5 times 1 over 2. So we have 5 over 2 plus 3. And then we are going to um, simplify further. 4 times 1 is 4, divided by 4 is just 1, minus 5 over 2 plus 3. And then we are going to um, combine like terms, because again, we are dealing with fractions. Take note that 1 can be expressed as 2 over 2, because then again, 2 over 2 is just 1. So we have 1, which is 2 over 2, minus 5 over 2, and then again, 3 at the same time can be expressed as 6 over 2. So as you notice here, my goal actually is to make all the denominators of the same number so that again we can simply um, perform the operations that is being asked so what will happen now is we have um, two and then since the, the denominators are now, are now like or we have now like fractions we can simply um, perform the operations on the numerator side so what will happen is we have two minus five plus six over two and we know very well that two minus five is negative three negative three plus six is a positive three therefore f of negative f of one half is just equal to three over um two all right so again f of one half is equal to Oh, it's not working. My pen tool is not working. Alright. So again, f of 1 half is just equal to 3 over um, 2. Next example. Again, we are going to make use of the same function, but this time, our x is 1 fourth. So as you can see here, again, the same with what we did, we are going to substitute all the x variable with our x value which is 1 fourth in this example so we will have f of 1 fourth is equal to 4 times the quantity of 1 fourth squared minus 5 times 1 over 4 plus 3 so again we are going to distribute this exponent so what will happen is 1 raised to 2 is just 1 and then 4 raised to 2 is equal to 16 or 4 squared is equal to 16 and then we are going to multiply 5 by 1 fourth so what will happen is we have 5 times 1 is just 5 and then just simply copy the denominator now again we are going to distribute or multiply 4 by 16 to simplify further so this is what will happen so you have 4 times 1 is 4 over 16 that is 4 over 16 or simply 1 over 4. And then we are going to copy minus 5 over 4 plus 3. If you notice here, we actually have now the same denominators, these two terms here. So our next goal is to make 3, um, to 
make 3 as a fraction in which the denominator is 4. So basically, um, the easiest way to do that is simply multiply 3 by 4 and that will give us 12. So therefore, 3 is just equal to what? Um, 12 over 4. So we will do that. So we have 1 fourth minus 5 over 4 plus 12 over um, 4 which is again equal to 3. And again, since the denominators are now the same, we can now simply perform whatever operation is on the numerator. So we will have 1 minus 5 plus 12 over 4. So what is 1 minus 5? That is again negative 4. Negative 4 plus 12 is just positive 8 over 2 or simply um, 2. So 8 over 2 is just equal to 2. So therefore, when we evaluate f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 3, when x is 1 fourth, our y or our f of x is equal to 2. So again, that is how we do it when we are dealing with or using a fraction. I hope that helps.